about to get the season about to start tonight there is night football atlanta falcons philadelphia eagles from now on instead of giving you all our picks for the nfl season weekly we're going to come up with the with the top five this week we're coming up with top six with okay. our picks of the week first off tonight's game atlanta falcons versus going up to lincoln financial to play the world champion philadelphia eagles who you got, bro? Uh, again, tough games. They picked the right game to kick off the season with. I like that. Uh, Super Bowl champions on prime time. I like Philly in this one. I okay. do. I like Philly. You know, they're going to uh, get it cracking. You know, although I do, I do like Atlanta. I just mm-hmm. don't like them in this first game of the season. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. I'm I'm with you. I'm going to pick the Atlanta, uh, Atlanta Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles because I I know Nick Foles is behind center and Matt Ryan is behind center on the other team. Both of them get the same the same intensity when it comes to defense. I think the, since the game is at home, uh, mm-hmm. I know you can uh, you can have the championship uh, drunkenness and everything, but I think that team is gonna be hyped. That crowd is gonna be hyped. It's the first game of the season. You're gonna whoop on the team that you whooped on in the postseason. Uh, it's going to be a close game. Might be by a field goal, six points. But I'm going to give the edge to the Eagles because they're playing at home. Okay. All right. Next up, we got the Houston Texans going up to Gillette Stadium to play my partner in crime here, one of his favorite teams, the New England Patriots, going to the Death Star to play the Evil Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got between the Texans and the Patriots, bro? I think it's going to be a close game. Houston always play them close for about two or three quarters. Mm. And then Brady figure them out. And it's, you know, he owned Houston ass. You know, they can't. <laughs> yeah, I said they, they ain't beat them. They, they, they haven't beaten them. But they got a team to beat them. You know, mm. especially this year. You know, I don't, you know, I don't know how far the Patriots will go this year. They don't have the personnel. You know that they've they've had in the past or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. but we all we know Brady, that Brady is the one person who make sugar out of shit. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's it's definitely a wait and see, a wait and see uh, game there. So, but I like I like New England until Houston actually beat them. Okay, all right. Let me put you down for the Patriots. Ugh. All right. Well, you know who I'm going for. I'll, I'll be damn forever go with the Patriots. But anyway, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you why I'm going to Texas this year. Two years ago, if not last year, remember when Kansas City first game of the week, Kansas City went up and in just just blew the brakes off of the Patriots. That was last year. That was last. That was okay. Yeah. The shock factor, like, oh, yeah. we didn't expect this to jump off. I think the same thing gonna happen this year. Oh yeah. I hear what you're saying, Tom Brady, one of the greatest quarterbacks ever to to palm a ball. I got all that. He doesn't like pressure. He's gonna get all the pressure in the world this year. I mean, this in this game, for some fact, J.J. Watt coming back. Hopefully, he's healthy. We already seen what we got in uh, Jadavian Clowney last year. He played the whole season. He wasn't hurt. He did a great job. Whitney, Whitney Merciless coming back off of injury. Now, they picked up Tyron Lou in the secondary. They picked up Tyron Lou from the Arizona Cardinals and Aaron Colvin from the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's a legit defense right there. If not top five, might be even higher than that. That defense going up against uh, Tom Brady and Gillette Stadium sounds good. Because let's not forget, before before Deshaun Watson got hurt last year, they went up into C-Link and gave the Seattle Seahawks uh, the points. Yeah. And like you said, yeah, it's it's the the shock factor and all that, but – well, you know what happened with the shock factor with New England. You know what they they last game was. I mean, so I mean that does that doesn't rattle them. That doesn't does do anything to them. The shock factor, whatever. Yeah, they Houston can go up there and very well win that game 
but at the end of the game, it won't mean shit to New England Patriots. Yeah, they'd be like, see your ass in fucking December. <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I know that's a whole different animal when the year. Like, yeah. <laughs> right. But we're talking about this game. Big on right, 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 right. So yeah, I get it. But yeah, they're legit defense, like you said. And I, I like I like I like Houston. Mm-hmm. Just not this week. Yeah. Okay, I got you. All right. So you're going with the Patriots. I got you. I, I wouldn't even see anything different. I'd be shocked if you went the other way, I actually tell you the truth. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. Kansas City Chiefs going up to StubHub Center to play the, I said San Diego Chargers. I meant to say the Los Angeles Chargers. I'm going to go first on this one. I I don't like neither one of the teams because I'm a Denver Bronco fan, but, you know, I'm going to keep bias aside. I I know what the Kansas City Chiefs used to have when they had Alex Smith. Now they got the young gun and Patrick Mahomes. I heard he got a hell of an arm. He got a cannon for an arm. But my accurate, I want to know if he got accuracy. Will he be able to throw at uh, Tariq Hill, Travis Kelsey, and all that stuff? I heard he had an arm, but nobody told me that he could pass on the on the dime. We know what we got out of Phillip Rivers. He's a he's a he's a Hall of Fame potential uh, quarterback. He got a chip on the shoulder. He'll trash talk with the best of them. He got a nice little lineup. He got uh, Keenan Allen who last year played healthy without being injured. Uh, Anton- I think Antonio Gates still over there. Yeah. Um, Melvin Gordon, the running back. So his offense is legit. And we already know what he got on, on, on the defensive side with Joey Bolson and Melvin Ingram. All that being said, and the Chiefs defense, it's, it was it, it all right last year. But now you don't have Marcus Peters back there in the secondary that, that weakened it a little bit. So I believe – with the with the Chargers playing at home, and and I think they got potential to go deep into the to the playoffs this year. I'm going with the Chargers over the Chiefs. What say you? Yeah, I I agree with you with your analysis with that. Uh, Chargers they're gonna be my sleeper team over there this year. Okay. I like I I like them. Nice. Uh, Kansas City. Well, we gotta see what they're gonna do now. You know, they lost the offensive coordinator to Chicago. Or whatever, and um, you know they they turned over the you know gave the keys to the car to uh, the new quarterback. Let's see, let's see if he can drive. You know, it's 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 his now. You know, I ain't no looking over your shoulder or none of that. It's it's his. So uh, they still got Andy Reid, good great coach. You know, he's not gonna just let him fall to the wayside. So we just gonna see. I don't um. You know about week one. I kind of like the Chargers also in this first game of the season. Okay, I'll put you down for the Chargers. You know it's funny. I looked up uh, the new head coach for the Chargers. Well, this is the second year. Uh, what's his name? Anthony Lynn. Yeah. I seen he had Ken uh, Ken Wizenhunt as his offensive coordinator. Ken Wizenhunt is like, uh, what's his name? Used to be defensive coordinator for my for my Denver Broncos. Ah, uh, shut. Used to be head coach for Dallas. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, the 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 crazy. Uh, uh, anyway, my point is, like, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm having brain fart right now. Some people are better as coordinators than head coach. You know, you got to coordinate right. with the head coach. He ain't doing that with it. Go back to coordinator and start blowing up. I think that's what we got with uh, Ken Wisenhunt. Okay. He's the offensive coordinator. He's on the, on the staff for the San, uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Chargers going to be, like you say, I, sleeper team. I, I don't mm-hmm. know how much of a sleeper team they are. They showed what they could do last year. I think mean, they're going to mm-hmm. do this year. I hate to say it as a Denver Bronco fan, but I'm, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, I, I like that Ken Wilson hunt. I think – I forgot who they had on defense. I'm going to look it up in a second. But they got a nice little coaching staff over there. So, you got to yeah. look out for that team. All right, man, next up, we got the Dallas Cowboys going up to Bank of America Stadium to play the Carolina Panthers. Who you got? I like Carolina in this one. What? Yeah, I like – yeah, I like Carolina. You know, first game, you know. Everybody talking about every other team in that division but them. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. and, and and rightfully so. 
You heard that big cue. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and rightfully so. So they got to do something, you know, to make, you know, make their presence felt like, hey, don't forget about us. We still here. You know, everybody talking about, you know, New Orleans, Atlanta, whatever. But ain't nobody saying nothing about the Carolina Panthers because they always fall off, you mm-hmm. know. And they, they lose a, a bunch of games that they shouldn't lose, you know, and win a few that they shouldn't win. So we're going to see this week. But I like I like them this week okay. against Dallas, yeah. We're going to have to agree with each other on this one. Uh, I, I see we, we know what we got in Dallas. Yeah. I remember they finished the season last year, but – I, I think they're on the down, down, downward spiral. Yeah, they got. I think they got a lot of internal things going on there. Right. You know, they got rid of Des Bryant. I ain't saying he's the he was the end all be all, but he was an important piece of that offense on of that offense. I think Ezekiel Elliott. You are gonna get the most out of Ezekiel Elliott, but Dak Prescott. Even though I think he shouldn't have filled fourth in the draft. Mm-hmm. I think he's a quality quarterback, but I think everybody kind of like know who Dak Prescott is. You ain't gonna shock anybody like he did his his uh, rookie season. As you could tell last year, they were like, "Okay, we got a number on him. We could, we could get this." You know what I'm saying? That being said, that, so you got Dak Prescott against Cam Newton. Cam Newton got a couple more weapons. They got that rookie DJ Moore, wide receiver. I always told Big Q. When the last time you had a quality receiver on that lineup? He always he now he's telling me punches. I ain't gonna say punches. It's, it's a, Steve Smith. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, Steve and Smith. You see, and you seen what happened to uh, uh, Ted Ginn when he went to the Saints? He balled yeah. out last year. So yeah. I'm not saying it. I'm gonna say it might be a system situation, but they don't get quality wide receivers. But with that being said, I like DJ Moore. I like the run game with, with Christian McCaffrey. The defense always been legit. I think that's going to overcome the Dallas Cowboys because the Dallas Cowboys, me, don't play that well from home. Okay. I am definitely agree with you. I'm going to go with the Carolina Panthers over the Dallas Cowboys. Next up, our hometown Chicago Bears going up to Lambeau Field to play the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to go first on this one. Yeah, okay. Same shot fact I said with the Houston Texans and the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. That's going to happen with this one. I believe if Mitch Trubisky does not turn the ball over a lot of times, run game, do what it's supposed to do, the defense is going to be there. Defense is going to give Aaron Rodgers the flux. Aaron Rodgers doesn't have Jordy Nelson anymore. Now they got Jimmy Graham. I got all that. But that defense is not going to give Aaron Rodgers enough time to do what he got to do. He's an accurate quarterback. He's probably one of the top accurate, the most accurate quarterback in the NFL right now. But now that we got that lineup that we have on defense, we're going to see if they got potential to be the monsters of the midway. Then we're going to find out find that out in game one. I'm going to go with the hometown Bears over the Packers. Uh, yeah, I, I like that. I like that pick. You know, more so because it's the first game of the season. And uh, like you say, the shock factor or whatever. But mm-hmm. Green Bay, you know, I don't – you know, they – I think they can be taken advantage of on the defensive side of the ball. And the Bears just show a lot this preseason offensively for that for that reason alone, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so, it's, it's, it's I think it's going to be a close game. I think the Bears will win the game and just didn't send this uh this this, this rivalry into you know another gear mm-hmm. you know because right. you know I, I think they played each other the last few games of the season anyway mm-hmm. you know and that may determine you know have determined who's going to the postseason and who's not so but yeah I like I like the Bears over Green Bay. All right, got you down for it. I totally agree with you. You know, I think it's, I do believe this will be a close game. And this game is going to set the standard of how this rival, rival, rivalry will be mm-hmm. relevant. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Cool. All right. Next up, we got the last one. We have the Los Angeles Rams going up to Oakland Coliseum to play the Oakland Raiders. Man, dude. <laughs> we know what we got in the Rams already. Who we got on defense? Dominican Sue, Aaron Donald, 
Tlaib, uh, Keith Tlaib on the, in the secondary. Mark Peters in the secondary. Jared Goff is, is showing that he could be in the, he could be an NFL quarterback. You already paid you you paid Aaron down. You played you paid Ty Gurley. You know what you got in Ty Gurley on offense? It's just too much for Oakland Raiders. Not saying Oakland Raiders got a scrub team, but all the stuff that just jumped off. I think they're gonna they're gonna drop a couple of notches. They, I forgot they got rid of Crabtree. He playing for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, it's just too much going on. Too much too much transitioning going on with Oakland Raiders. We know what we're getting from the Los Angeles Rams. So I ain't going to – I'm not even going to say this game going to be close. I'm picking the LA Rams over the Oakland Raiders, which you got. Right? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that close either, you know, okay. especially this the, uh, Oakland already, you know, took a step back defensively last year. They was in the bottom 10 last year, mm-hmm. and they lost their best defensive player. So now they just really – you know, in the tail span now. So, yeah, they definitely depending on the offense, an uh, offense that's got to be going up against probably one of the top three defenses in the league this year. You know, so it's not looking good for them. I like the Rams in this one. All right, then. Okay, cool. I'm trying to think. Oh, well, of course, the only game we different of, of course, is the Texans and the Patriots. Oh, the, and the Patriots. Yeah. That's all right, bro. Okay, cool. With those our picks, that's our story for today. Unless Brandon got something else to talk about, we gonna close shop. You good, bro? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Talking about my team. <laughs> the crew here at Get With Sports want to thank you for taking the time to watch the Two Cent Deposit on Sports podcast. Once again, while you're here, click the subscribe button so you can be alerted to all the new episodes we have here on the Get With the Sports Two YouTube channel. So that's Get With the Sports Number Two our YouTube channel. Uh, you can find us on Twitter, me at Get With Sports. I'm a partner of crime here at LEB412. Uh, read the post on our blog page at getwithsports.wordpress.com. Follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at Get With Sports or contact us via email at Get With Sports 2. That's number two at gmail.com. Once again, I'm your boy, Glass. And I'm Brandon. The best tag team Tammy hit. <laughs> blah, blah. Best tag team tandem here is sports talking. And as always, be good, be safe, get with it. Peace.